What's up healthy people? Dr. Mike with the Complete Wellness Health Center. Today we're gonna to go into how to correct upper cross syndrome. So again, just to recap a little bit, the reason it's called upper cross syndrome because there is a cross and it's just the best visual to remember what's happening here. And so what it is, is the lower pec muscles, the levator scapulae, up into the suboccipital area, these muscles are going to be tight all the time. Now the opposite is your lower trapezius and your deep neck flexors, they get weak over time. And a lot of this is from sitting too much, being at a computer, 90 some percent of us sit at a computer for work all day long. So this is very, very common. So these stretches are gonna be really good for upper cross syndrome. Also, these are gonna be really good for after you've been sitting at a desk all day long, how do you undo all of that stress and pressure that you've done throughout the day? So let's get into it. All right, so one of the first stretches that we're gonna do is gonna stretch the pec muscle, specifically the lower pec minor muscle. So what you're gonna wanna do is find something like a door frame, or if you have something like this at home, you can use it. You can even use a wall, but Kale, go ahead and put your arm at a 90 degree angle, and you're going to walk forward until you feel tension here, and then he's gonna rotate away. And as he does that, he's gonna feel the stretch through here. Now the right side again, we're gonna arm at a 90 degree angle. Walk a little bit forward till you start to feel that stretch. You feel it in there? Yep. Now turn your whole torso, not just your head, your whole torso away, and you'll feel that more and more. And again, exhale, stretch a little bit more, and the whole time keep your head in a neutral position. Look straight ahead. No, straight ahead. The other way, other straight ahead. There you go. Other straight ahead. You don't wanna, <laughs> you don't wanna turn your head for this one. You wanna keep it in a neutral position, just like that. Same concept, if you just have a wall, you can definitely do that. So put your right arm up as much as you can and straighten your arm out a little bit more for this one and then go towards the wall and then walk forward. And you should feel it in there. Again, same concept, as you feel it tighten and then you wanna just turn your whole torso this way. You feel it more that way? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh yeah. So you feel it right through that pec muscle. All right, now that we've stretched the pec muscles, we're gonna stretch the levator scapulae muscle. Levator scapulae means lift scapula. So it's attached to the top of the scapula here and it goes all the way up into the suboccipital areas. This is one that probably will cause a lot of headaches and upper back pain, neck pain, things like that. So it's really important that we get this thing stretched out. So one of the easiest ways to do that is Kale's gonna take his arm, put it on the back of his head and he's going to stretch down and away with steady pressure to get that stretched out. He's gonna hold this for about 10 to 20 seconds. Remember to focus on breathing. Okay, good, now switch sides. Same thing, you pull down and away to stretch the levator scapula on the right side. Now another way to do this is he's going to take his right arm and grab his left arm and he's going to pull down. At the same time, he's gonna tuck his head down and away and he's gonna stretch this. Pulling the arm is just gonna stretch that just a little bit further. You feel that more? Oh yeah. Absolutely, so that's gonna, same thing, hold that for about 10 to 20 seconds or so, and then go ahead and switch sides. Good, and then you're gonna go down and away from that muscle. Just remember, you're elongating that muscle on that side. Great, this one's gonna feel good. You can do this one throughout the day at work. It's great, you're in the office chair and you just stretch this out. All right, another go-to exercise is the praying mantis exercise, which we prescribe for a lot of our patients. And so this one's going to be really good at strengthening the lower trapezius muscle, which is one that's a little bit harder to get to. This one needs no equipment or anything. And so Caleb's gonna demonstrate, he's gonna lift his arms up, squeeze his elbows together as he pulls his arms straight up. He's really gonna squeeze the back muscles. Go ahead and rotate this way. He's going to squeeze right in through here. Turn all the way around. So these are the lower trapezius muscles that come down into here. He's gonna really focus on squeezing these as he's squeezing his elbows together and lifting up. So again, you're gonna hold this one for about 10 to 20 seconds like many of the other stretches. Good. And you're gonna probably have to work up to this one. If you don't have a lot of shoulder flexibility, this one might be a little bit harder. So just try to come together as much as you can with that. All right, next we're gonna do a seated row. And this one, is, if you notice, is gonna be a little bit higher. And what Caleb's gonna do is he's gonna pull it straight back with his 
hands flat, almost up to his face, and squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then go back, and then squeeze again. Notice that he's sitting straight up, he's got good posture, his head is in a neutral position. And so you're gonna keep doing this. Do about 10 repetitions, take a break, do 10 more. You can do these uh, throughout the day. You can work up with these as well. It's a really good strengthening exercise. You don't need a lot of weight. It is not designed uh, to build up big muscles. It's usually designed to focus on strengthening some of the smaller muscles with slower, steady contractions here. All right, and so for the lower seated row, the band is gonna go lower. And as Caleb pulls it back and squeezes, he's really gonna focus on squeezing the lower trapezius muscles through here, squeezing his shoulder blades together. And he's gonna hold that the whole time, but when he pulls back into full extension, he's really gonna squeeze that together. You feel that one a lot, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yep. Quite a bit. Good, so again, do at least 10 repetitions, nice and steady, nice and slow. You're gonna hold it at the back. Really focus on those muscles. These muscles get really, really weak from sitting at computers. So for this stretch, what you're gonna need is either a foam roller or what we have here is a towel that we rolled up. You can use this as well. So what Caleb's gonna do, he's gonna sit up just a little bit. And for our purposes, because we already practiced this, he's gonna use the, this foam roller He's gonna put it right on the part of his back that has the most hyperkyphosis or arch. What he's going to do is then extend back and we're gonna use this to go under his head. Now for some of you, it might be a towel instead. And what he's gonna do is he's going to open his arms up, kind of like he's gonna make a snow angel. So this exercise is doing multiple things. It's stretching the pec muscles. He's putting his neck into a negative Z position and he's pushing into his thoracic area, taking out some of that hyperkyphosis. So this one you're gonna lay on for maybe a minute, maybe two minutes, really focus on breathing. This one is excellent for after you've worked all day long. It feels really good. And afterwards, you'll feel like you can stand up straighter and uh, it'll alleviate some of that pulling and tightness that you have from the back up into the neck and suboccipital areas. So this is another excellent stretch with a foam roller or again, you can use a towel. You may have to use a beach towel, something a little bit bigger, but anyways, you're gonna do this perpendicular. We have different foam rollers. These have different uh, densities. Some have a hollow, hollow core uh, with a plastic center. This one is all foam and it gives a little bit more. So for this purpose, Caleb, you can come on in. Uh, when you lay on this one, perpendicular to the whole spine, just like that. And because of the shape of it, it's going to allow his spine to roll back over that. And again, same thing with the arms as the other foam roll stretch, you're gonna open that up. Now you can see his neck is not comfortable, so we can place a foam roller there to support that. And you can see Caleb has upper cross syndrome. It's really hard for him to extend his shoulders back. The pec muscles are so tight, eventually, this will let go, he'll be able to have more flexibility there, but this is just a perfect example of the limited mobility uh, because of the, hyper, the hyperkyphosis and upper cross syndrome. So it was an excellent exercise for Caleb to do. All right, another excellent exercise. This is a negative Z exercise. A lot of times we tell our patients when they're doing this, if you're standing, you just give yourself a double chin basically. So with this one, the towel gives him a little bit of space and it allows his other muscles to relax. So what he's gonna do is just extend back. Now it's basically the motion is if I pushed his head straight down, which I won't do right now, but I'd like to. Um, he's going to fire the suboccipital muscles to pull his chin back. And he's gonna hold that for about 10 seconds or so, and then relax. And you repeat that about 10 to 20 times. And you're gonna work up because this one can make you a little bit sore. How does that feel? It feels good, I definitely feel it in the occipital region. Yep, definitely activate those suboccipital muscles there. It's very good. So you're strengthening those suboccipitals and what that's gonna do is allow the head to get stronger to hold it in a neutral position so it's not going forward. So this last exercise is one that I kind of created but everybody should have a broom handle somewhere in their house or apartment. And so uh, just to be resourceful, um, we have this. And so what you're gonna do is 
uh, just to turn to the side so you can see a little bit better. I'm gonna put this up into my mid thoracic area. And what I'm gonna do is just use my arms to put myself in a neutral position. And I can even do some negative Z exercises while I'm doing this stretch. But just the bar pushing into your back feels so good and it really stretches your pecs. Kind of does everything all in one and it's super easy to do. So a lot of CrossFit people, we use a PVC pipe to a very small one, small diameter to loosen up everything, but not everybody has that. Everybody usually has a broom handle. You can just unscrew it and, uh, and do this stretch. So again, you can hold this one for a while. It just feels good to sit in this position, especially after uh, a long day of this. So again, super easy. Hold this one for maybe two minutes or so, and um, you can repeat this one throughout the day as well. Thanks for watching the video. I know these exercises will help you a lot with upper cross syndrome and just alleviate a lot of the aches and pains that come with sitting at a desk or a computer all day long. Get started with this as soon as you can. The sooner you start, the better it's gonna do. If you have any questions about this video, please put in the comment section below. Also, we're always taking suggestions for future videos, so put those in the comment section too. Uh, we have many more videos coming up, so stay tuned, and we just wanna help you live the best complete wellness lifestyle you possibly can. Thanks.